What is up guys, it is Marcus from Perspective Sports and today we're going to take a look back on a week three that saw Army push number five, well now number five Oklahoma, to overtime despite losing 28-21. to That was a very exciting game. We saw Stanford and Oregon play an excellent game and Stanford came out on top 38-31 and Old Dominion ran away from Virginia Tech in the fourth quarter to get a convincing 49-35 to upset. And for this week, I don't have any story in particular I want to go over, so let's just jump into the AP Top 25. Alabama was 1, Georgia was 2, Clemson was 3, Ohio State number 4, LSU leapfrogs Oklahoma after they struggle to beat Army to number 5, and Oklahoma moves back one spot to number 6, Stanford at number 7, Notre Dame at number 8, Penn State moves up one spot to number 9, Auburn moves back one spot to number 10, Washington moves back one spot to number 11, West Virginia 12, UCF moves up three spots to number 13. Michigan moves up five spots to number 14. Wisconsin up three spots to 15. Miami up five spots to number 16. Kentucky jumps into the rankings at 17. Texas jumps into the rankings at 18. Oregon moves up one spot despite losing, but they did lose a close one, to number 19. BYU up five spots to number 20. Michigan State up three spots to number 21. Duke jumps into the rankings at 22. Mississippi State moves back nine spots to 23. California and Texas Tech jump into the rankings at 24 and 25, respectively. And I really don't disagree with the AP's poll, although my poll is different. I don't necessarily disagree with them. Now let's take a look at mine. Alabama at 1, Georgia at 2, Clemson at 3, Ohio State at 4, LSU leapfrogs Oklahoma at number 5, Oklahoma moves back one spot to 6, Stanford at 7, Auburn at 8, Penn State at 9, Washington at 10, West Virginia at 11, Notre Dame moves up two spots to 12, Wisconsin still at 13, UCF moves up two spots to 14. Michigan moves up four spots to 15. Miami moves up five spots to 16. Kentucky jumps into the rankings as well at number 17. And I put Kentucky in the ranking at number 17 because out of all the teams that jumped in, none of them necessarily have the stature of wins that Kentucky has. Now, Texas Tech does have a very impressive dominant win over Oklahoma State. But Kentucky has two wins over Florida and Mississippi State. BYU jumps four spots to number 18. Oregon moves up one spot to number 19. Texas Tech, um, excuse me, Texas jumps into the rankings at number 20. Michigan State up three spots to 21. Mississippi State back seven spots to 22. Duke jumps into the rankings at number 23. Texas Tech jumps into the rankings at 24. And Boise State stays the same as they did not play this week at number 25. Now let's get into the game of the week. In this week's game of the week is none other than Ohio State traveling to play Penn State and there's a lot of good games and we're going to talk about a lot of other good games in just a second but Ohio State has the number two offense in all of football putting up 599 and a half yards per game Penn State is not too far back at 11 putting up 514 yards per game the defenses are both similar in terms of points per game allowed Penn State allowing 19.5 Ohio State allowing 17 and some ones if not both defenses are are going to budge because both teams have really good, high-powered, efficient offenses. And there's not only that, there's a lot riding on. This is a rivalry, number one. And on top of that, these two teams don't necessarily like each other. These fan bases don't necessarily like each other. And the winner of this game will control their own destiny in terms of who will represent their division in the conference championship and in turn competing for a spot in the college football playoff. That's why I chose this as a game of the week. I think this will probably be the most watched game of the week, and it'll probably come down to the last possession. And again, there's a lot of other great games, West Virginia, Texas Tech, Stanford, Notre Dame, BYU, Washington, just to name a few. And if I had to pick a winner in this game, I'd pick Ohio State, 30 to 24. Now let's get to the upset of the week, and that's potentially Syracuse at number three, Clemson. Syracuse looks to knock off Clemson for a second year in a row behind quarterback Eric Dungy, who has done it all this year, leading his team in passing, rushing, and will be a tough contain for this Clemson defense. Despite all of that, it's going to be hard to see Syracuse beating Clemson on the road in South Carolina. So for that reason, I'm going Clemson 24-21 in a close one. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. I'll see you there.